Hey, I'm Sam and I do design, and in the video today, this is a short clip of my discussions with Lucy Bishop and Fraser Greenfield at the Redacted Design Podcast. If you enjoy anything that you hear in this clip, please go and listen to the full episode over at redacted.buzzsprout.com, not just for my episode, but all of the interviews with amazing design professionals over there. I really hope you enjoy this clip from Redacted. Would you say there's been any like positive impacts from social media on design? I have met people in the street who say, hey, you sound like, yeah, why? And they say, oh, I know you from YouTube. I watch your stuff. I'm like, oh, thank you very much. Are you a designer? And they say, no, no, no I'm not a designer. I just enjoy watching your videos. And that is like the highest level of flattery I've ever gotten. Somebody who's not a designer has appreciated a video about design. Wow, that's amazing that through everyone's collaborative input into social media design is known now not just me posting but everybody collectively posting and sharing work and all coming together we've sort of become this beehive mind of design and that's really quite special to share that it is more than sketching and coloring in we think about things and we decision make and we have all these prototype things and we talk about what should be made instead of what could be made. We have all these in-depth conversations and people are realizing that publicly that aren't designers. And that can only be beneficial when these people might go and work at their companies and say, oh, we make products, but we haven't really considered design as a tangible input that we should be doing. Maybe let's hire some designers. This idea of investing in design as a design-led company, that's growing. And I wonder if social media and the impact of that might have something to do with it. Would you say that your own escapades in social media have helped you personally? I am where I am today because of one post I made on social media in 2016, and it snowballed from there. I actually got my job at Leia, where I work now, I think because of Instagram. I applied to them in late 2019, and the story is you always hope that they say, great portfolio, start on Monday. That's the dream, right? Yeah, they call you at the end of the portfolio and they're like, I can't even look at the next one. I've got to call Sam. I need him. <laughs> yeah, but that is not the case of how I got the job at Leia. They actually send you a design task and they send you away for a week. And at the end of the week, you submit your work. And you build them. And then you build them. Yeah, I wish. We can go into a whole story of what I think about design challenges as well. I'm not for them. I'm against them. But at the time when I was applying for the job, I thought, why not? But anyway, I sent this project and it was awful. And they said, ah, it's not what we had in mind. That's not great design, is it really? It's pretty bad. Why don't you have another go? Do another week and send us your work then. So I'm like, okay, I'll do one more week and send it off. Sent them the second task and that was awful as well. And the hiring manager was sort of like, well, you know, Thanks for your time. We'll be in touch. And at that point, I'm like, all right, it's gone. It's finished. A day or so later, that same hiring manager said, hey, Sam, we've just seen that you've done a model in SolidWorks where you've modeled an Eames chair just for fun. And we're quite interested in how you might use SolidWorks to model chairs. We've seen that you've posted a SolidWorks screenshot. We've seen that you've posted a key shot rendering of it afterwards. Let's have another go and you should now model one of our chairs. So for one more week, model one of our chairs. And at the end of the week, we'll have a call and we'll go through your feature tree. As I'm saying this out loud, that's a lot of design tasks. <laughs> but what that post on social media allowed was it took the pressure off my portfolio, took the pressure off my other design tasks. And that one Instagram post that I was just posting saying, hey, I'm enjoying doing this fun thing in SolarWorks because I thought it'd be hard to do and I want to see how to do it. That is what got me the job at Leia. And I'm really appreciative of that. What we used to do way back when was all of those design challenges that we did as a team, we had a huge whiteboard in the kitchen and we'd pin up all the successful design challenges. Like anyone who's got a job, here's that design challenge. And everyone's done the same design challenge. And then we were looking through like, oh, that's really nice. That one's really nice. And then we get to mine and it was like, that's awful. How is this guy here? But luckily we took that down. We don't use that wall of shame anymore. 
long story short, Instagram got me the job at Leia. That's the saving grace. I think about it pretty often, how much one click can completely change your life trajectory. Kind of similar, but not with Instagram. I got really lucky. I spent a really long time applying for jobs and not really making any progress. Not really understanding why, because until you start making a little bit of progress, you can't even A-B test. Right. You're putting all this stuff into the universe. You're getting nothing back. No one will talk to you. Your friends are all hush-hush about their folios. I got really lucky. I connected with one of my old lecturers. I never expected anything. Just messaged him saying that I really appreciated all of the skills that he taught me and how that's really helped me moving forward. And he was just so generous that it completely changed my trajectory. And I actually finally had someone to A-B test with. Then it's amazing what the internet can do. And all these little things that you're doing in your spare time, like you said, whether it's a passion project or just connecting to the online global community of industrial designers, keeps pushing that needle further and further. 